Welcome back to Friday Night Sports Extra. Julian Minnesota alongside Alex Crescenti here. So we, we've done the Idaho highlights. Yep. But there were some big games tonight in Spokane area. Um, two teams that are kind of on different sides of, of the block here. Shadle Park right. struggling a little bit. West Valley, though, coming in with just one loss this season. That's a potential state tournament team right there, West Valley. Yeah, we're going to take it up with the boys' highlights here. West Valley, Shadle Park. West Valley might as well be called the all-shoe team. Look at the Ooh. heat on the feet right there. Ashton Zettel with two different colored shoes. Love the swag there. The hair. And, and the hair <laughs> to boot. And then look at this. Ben Freed brought out those crazy colored kicks. I guess the saying is look good, play good, right? That's exactly what West Valley did tonight. Noah Gad Lewis cashes it in from three point range. But check this out on the other end. Peep the move by Shadow Parks. Jacob Boston had dudes on Ooh. ice skates out there. But it was West Valley's night tonight. Grady Walker. Great game for Mr. Walker. Had a game high 21 points, including that big time triple. West Valley takes care of business. 68 to 48 is the final score. Hey, Eagles, they improved to 13 and 1 on the season and remain undefeated in league play. Like you said, Alex, potential state playoff team brewing up over there at West Valley. That's tight. Uh, state team from last year, the West Valley girls also hosting Shadle Park. And West Valley led after the first quarter, but this was where the Highlanders go to work. They respond in a big way as they force a turnover and they're off to the races. Tamira Thompson somehow gets it to go and the foul. West Valley's turn though, Chloe DeHaro. She's just been lighting it up all season long. DeHaro get, can't get the jumper there, but gets it back and scores. She had a game high 30 points, certainly on her way to first team all league there. But Shida Park was clicking on offense. Great ball movement by the Highlanders. Thompson done to Kylie Archer. Gets the shooter's bounce. And Shadow Park wins this one. 58-42. Sits one game behind Clarkston for first place in the GSL, GSL 2A standings. In a 20-plus point game for Kylie Archer there, too, tonight. Ridgeline boys visiting Ferris tonight. We start with Ferris with the ball early on in this game. Patrick Murphy finds Dylan Scaife, collects the ball easy enough, puts it up and in, and scores for the Saxons. But Ridgeline would respond on the other end. Dakota Means right there, nails the three-pointer for the Falcons, but Ferris came right back. Here's a Saxons turn. Reese Snellman had a big game the other night, and he drops it off to Jordan Taylor, who waits patiently and gets the bucket underneath. And Ferris proved to be too much in this one. Here's Scaife again. He's their big-time player. Connects with Sam Markin. Three ball, corner pocket. Oof. Good. Ferris runs away with this one, 62-46. to 46. Dylan Scaife led the way with 18 points for Ferris in the victory. Well, the Ridgeline uh, and Ferris girls also going head-to-head. -head. Ferris with the ball. Kayla Jones scores for the Saxons here. A little off the back foot, but Ferris with the ball again. And guess who? Kayla Jones at it again. Ridgeline's turn uh, on this next possession. It's going to be Morgan Espen uh, Espenza Kelly throws the pass down low to Madeline Cawley for the bucket. That's good to go. And Ferris is Abby Colton with the great finish right here. It's going to drive into the basket. Yep, going one on one. Yet yeah, somehow goes in as the Saxons hang on for the victory. 50 to 43 is the final. Kayla Jones had 17 points for uh, the Saxons. Ridgeline drops to one and four in league play. Yeah, so Ferris, they've got some good teams over there. Pretty. Pretty yeah. solid teams, excuse me, specifically the boys team who has now won two straight games this week um, in GSL standing. So huge games for them. And they've had a pretty good team historically there. You know, you can't keep them down for too long, you know. So, you know, a lot, games maybe not as close as the Gonzaga game last night, <laughs> but still some pretty quality 